Hey guys, let us now complete our plugin. So there's just one more method that we need to create and that is the method to instantiate the form to be displayed in AutoCAD. So let's create that method right now. Public void. Let's call that as extract blocks. And the purpose of this method is to to just uh, create an instance of this form and then display it so block extractor form and let me just call that as form equals new block extractor form and then form that show okay so we have to provide here a command method decorator command method and let's just call that as eb for extract block this will be the command that will appear in our command prompt okay so that will be our final method next let's go to debug i mean to the build and check the configuration manager I would like this to be in a 64 bit okay now if we go to the debug menu and check the auto block extractor properties I would like us to start the AutoCAD application so browse for your ACAD EXE file and you can find it in your Autodesk your AutoCAD installation in the program files Autodesk whatever version you have in my case I'm using 2020 and it's right here okay so now we can start our program let's do that so it should open AutoCAD for us so while AutoCAD is opening, let me just go to the the folder where my test drawings are located. So I have here in my local drive temp dwgs. All of these drawing files will be loaded. Uh, seven, 17 of them will be loaded in the list box in our form once we start the form remember that we have uh, hard-coded the value of temp dwgs in our uh, the text box and then we coded that when the form load it should uh, it should check all the drawing files from that folder and load it into the list box so start a new drawing okay so now we can load our code our plugin net load and select for our projects we have here projects auto block extractor go to the bin folder we have here the x64 debug and then this will be our plugin okay select that one and click on open and click on always load so now if we type in eb extract block there you go we have it here nice see so all the drawing files in this folder are loaded into our list box and you might notice that each of these file here has their own respective uh, checkbox where you can uh, check individually or you can use our uh, single global checkbox here to either select or unselect and you might notice the behavior of the process block extractor button if there's nothing selected then it 
it's, it stays uh, disabled but if we select or check any one of these here oh why is it it didn't let me try this one yeah uncheck oops so it looks like we have a bug in our code we have to address this issue which means that if there is already a selected a drawing here it should activate our uh, button here so let's uh, fix that let me just uh, close this form and let us stop our code so let me just stop it here and let's go to the form here I think we missed this method so if we double click on this yeah so we we forgot to handle this method let's do it right away so basically if the user check on that list box it should activate the method I mean the the button the process extract button so <coughs> let's complete the code if chk lstdwgs that check items that count is greater than zero so we have to activate the btn extract blocks that enabled equals true okay otherwise else btn extract blocks that enabled equals false and then we can update the user with the information number of selected drawings equals plus chk lstdwgs that check items that count all right so that's just about it but let me just introduce uh, two more ways to do this because this okay very readable and we will stick with this code uh, structure but just wanted to show you that you can also do the same thing as let's say let me just copy that over if there is only one line in your code you can also do this uh, thing here okay another one to do that is you can use the ternary operator so btn extract blocks that enabled equals say uh, chk lst dwgs that check items that count is so basically we are using here a condition from within uh, the expression to either uh, reflect a true or false value so if the chk lst dwgs the check items that count is greater than zero then it will be true enable it otherwise it will be false so that's just a one-liner code and it does the same thing as these two here okay so i will just uh, comment this out at least just uh, to show you that you can also do these uh, two types of methods but let's just stick with this uh, code structure here easier for everybody to understand okay so let me save our code and try it again So 
when you get used to coding in C sharp and you you're com more comfortable with different ways of uh, coding it and then it's all up to you to decide which uh, code structure is uh, more uh, preferred or favorable to you so it's all up to you now let us load our plugin again and we can run the program okay so there you go you can browse and then now let us test if this button will be activated if we select one of these yeah you have to press the button a little bit uh, harder okay so there you go so let's say among these 17 drawings we have here the selected drawings which is a four let me just select one two three four five if you can okay these are just the same drawings I copied from the same file and some of them I just divide those drawings by getting rid of uh, one portion of the plan but anyway we have here five drawings and once we run the code we should be expecting the extracted text file in this folder as well so let's do that so the block name that we need to extract for this uh, test is door does bifold that is the block name okay let's get started let us see the forgot to minimize this I mean to resize the AutoCAD so it covers the DWG there you go so now we have the extracted files if we check on the first one goes into my other monitor so this one is our results we have here four uh, four blocks we go into the DWG2 we have here two blocks we go with the check the DW, DWG test 3 same thing two blocks and then test 4 we have just one block so that's it we have here the header the insertion point X and Y and all the attributes so if we open up one of these drawings here let's say DWG test 2 and we check the attribute of this bifold door so these are the values that we have okay you have here the insertion point Y, symbol, height, style, reference number, manufacturer, cost, and the width. There you go. So that's it for our AutoBlock Extractor plugin. So yeah, the code is available. Check it out play with it and then try it on your uh, drawings and see how it goes okay I'll see you in the next uh, plugin